Hey guys, in the effort to actually try to document what I'm doing, I'm going to try to make a um, build diary of my new boars challenge to the bridge. Um, so I'm making a modular river set. Um, it's going to have a completed wooden bridge, a broken wooden bridge, um, my neat stone bridge that I made from a toy earlier, and um, a log to cross and rocks to jump across, and of course some regular river pieces. Um, going to try to do them more realistically. I know right now it looks like the pinnacle of human achievement as I've achieved black cardboard rectangles. Yes. Um, these are actually single layer cardboard that I've reinforced with skewers to try to keep them from curling. Uh, since we're pressed for time, I'm not going to do resin. I'm going to use my golden gel that I used for the last one. I may not use the hot glue again just because that took so much time and it kind of looked ropey in appearance. I want this to be more gentle. Um, we shall see. I've made patterns for the shore, which I'm going to make Ooh, just with here are my patterns. Uh, Love. And I'm going to make the shore, the islands, and all that good stuff out of pink foam. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> my goal is to make them as flush as possible, so I will update after I do that. Hi again, guys. It's uh, Lex V or Alexis Vansura, and this is still day one, really, of my build. For making the bridge. Um, as you can see I am still doing the modular design. I've got my pink foam shores and a little island on um, four of the tiles um, and I have the basics of my bridge done. I really am kind of doing a combination of what John from Dungeons and Glue Sticks has done as well as the DMG which is our assignment. Um, I went in with my sculpting tool and really textured the wood and the popsicle sticks. I used the skinny sticks and then I broke them up. I wanted it to look crappy and well used so that it wouldn't be a big surprise <laughs> when it inevitably breaks, which will be the other tile. Um, so I can switch out and have the broken bridge tile at any moment. Um, I'm going to add some posts and some rope sides to kind of add that. And once again, I'm kind of hoping that my paint job is going to sell this. Um, the other tiles that I'm making are going to be um, a rock jump as well as, you know, the cliche like log that you have to crawl across. Um, I'm going to do those tomorrow. My plan for the rest of the night is to base coat the pink foam. Um, hand paint that with black so that I can start putting on some of the construction sand tomorrow. Um, I went ahead and before I even put on the pink foam I black bombed the cardboard because the last time I used single width cardboard and I didn't do that and I hand painted it, um, it curled really badly so I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen. But I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's fitting really kind of flush, which was good. I don't know if you can see this, but on the pieces, I um, taped off the insides um, with masking tape so that the edges will be really tidy. And then I, I don't know if you can see this, I made a stencil and stenciled on the sides of the pink foam before I carved it the shape and I'm not cutting any smaller than this or any bigger than this so that the um, the sides of the bank will match up as closely as I can. For the most part it works. It still needs a little bit of work but I can kind of switch these and put them in any order ish. Like I said, still working on it. Um, 
hopefully I'll have everything like really flush so I'll just be able to press it in tight and then I'm going to maybe texture a little bit with the hot glue in places like this where the water will be breaking around the rock and then I'm going to try to do the rest of it with just flat paint um, try to get the illusion that the bank goes down further and that the water is deeper and then I'm going to cover it with the um, the golden gel to make waves and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Four more. Hey guys, we're on build day two. That's two. And I have finished all the tiles in terms of cutting out the pink foam, got everything glued down. On the tiles I'd done yesterday, I've gone ahead and put in construction sand and these nice little gold pebbles that I had from a candle arrangement. Um, obviously I'm going to paint all of those and actually give them more of a rock texture. Um, I have my neat bridge that I had made from a toy. Um, this is not the one I'm going to submit because I previously made it and it's really just a repaint with a lot of hot glue texture. So, um, here's the beginnings of my bridge. I have not yet painted it because I wanted to actually paint the underside and get the water texture and gloss and glaze and all that done. Before I did that, um, I'm going to turn it into a rope bridge and try to give it a little more fun, a little more texture and some skulls and make it look like it was maybe um, something very hastily built and could crash. And I also have to build the exact duplicate of it, but broken so I can have a broken tile. Um, my rocks there. I put some of the hot glue texturing on this tile, not crazy about it, but I'm keeping myself from ripping it up. I'm gonna see what it looks like painted, and worst case scenario, I will put a little more gel on there to see if I can fix it. Now, one of the main problems I had with this sitting on top of the tile instead of being built into the actual battle mat so it will be a recess is the fact I had like a huge bank that was a hill that <laughs> they would literally have to climb to get to the water um, and it had a big gap of foam and cardboard. So I uh, put this down on parchment paper and made kind of a gradual slope with hot glue to try to make it look more seamless um, and more irregular. I'm going to flock all that, some good old DM Scotty pencil shaving flock. I totally cleaned out all the pencil sharpeners at work and um, tried some colors on there, kind of in washes, just testing on this side, not crazy about it. So we'll change that. Um, but overall looking good. It's late and I have to wake up tomorrow and finish these and bake a cake and clean the house and all that good stuff. So we will see. This is going to be like our speed run river test. But so far, so good. See you tomorrow for build day three.